I'm here at the American Hospital with consultant hematologist and medical oncologist, Dr. Faraz Khan. Thank you so much for joining us today. Well, thank you for the invitation. Well, we're taking over your hallways here, but I grabbed you from your office and we want to get some advice for our viewers today. Absolutely. Now, I want to start from a health perspective because obviously you're tackling all kinds of cancers. What is the first things when we're talking about preventative um, measures? What can people here in the UAE be doing to set themselves on a healthier journey in life? So I think uh, there are a couple of aspects. One, of course, is uh, generally staying healthy, eating healthy, exercising, which is lifestyle. And second aspect of prevention is basically getting yourself checked. And I think the most important aspect of that is basically going to your primary care provider or primary care physician to have age-appropriate health screening. Now you say primary care physician. That is something in the UAE not as common? I think that's perhaps one of the biggest drawbacks in how people approach healthcare in UAE is that they go to subspecialist first. Mm -hmm. So if they have a hypertension, they go to a cardiologist, if they're diabetics, or even early diabetics, they go to endocrinologists, but they don't have a primary care physician. They don't get their adult vaccinations that they need. Uh, they don't do age appropriate screening. They come to oncology because they're worried about cancer. But what they've not done is they've not done age appropriate uh, uh, screening tests that are need to be done. Now you spent a lot of time in the US, obviously yeah. traveled quite a bit, and you've been here in the UAE for what, 13 years? You 13 said? years, yes. 13 years yeah. in the UAE. What are you most commonly seeing here in the UAE? I think uh, from, a, from a, so I will sort of separate it into two different areas. I think if you look at uh, purely in the oncology side, breast cancer is the most common cancer. I think it's the most common cancer worldwide anyway, and uh, but particularly in the region we see younger population, about 10 years younger. Uh, in, uh, in hematology side, of course, uh, you know, leukemias, lymphomas are still you see in younger people, more common in younger people, so you see that around. Uh, one of the common problems that you see around in the population here is actually iron deficiency. You know, iron deficiency. Iron I deficiency. That, so, yeah. <laughs> so I think almost every, you know, it's a very common problem. And uh, seek advice in a timely fashion and not to delay their treatments when the time is uh, to have treatment because I think that's where people make mistakes sometimes. Thank you so much, Dr. Full, of great advice today and hopefully we'll catch up with you soon. Thank you very much. Thank you.